How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video of my top 5 unique animes that would definitely surprise you. Of course, this is just my personal opinion, so please take it with a grain of salt. I don't want anyone being salty in the comments be like, yo, your list is horrible. I mean like, damn dude, why you gotta be so mean, bro? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I have selected 5 animes for you that I think are pretty special, pretty unique, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed them. Now, let's not waste any more time and jump in into the first one. Let's go, boy. Number 5, Judy Tyson's Zodiac War. If you're into survival and a dude with a bunny costume with high heels, then I'm sure you would dig this one. It wasn't me, don't you dare say it was me. You can't just accuse people of murder with no evidence. Imagine the whole city being evacuated just to play a game. Except this is not your ordinary game. Total the deadliest missionaries, warriors, with the names and attributes of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals are pitted against each other in the 12 zodiac tournament, which takes place every 12 years. Each participant has to swallow a poisoned gym, like literally the gym is like so freaking huge, like I don't even know how to swallow it without even water, like that's crazy dude. Like I would need like a lot of water before I, I even like try to swallow that. But anyways, I've tried here, the gym will start to take effect after 12 hours. Pretty much, if you don't like, if you're, if you're a puss and you, you decide not to like kill anybody and just hide, you will eventually die by the thing in your stomach. The winner needs to collect all the gyms to be granted one wish of their choosing. So yeah. Number 4, Aosuma Game the Animation. If you don't like seeing blood or people getting hurt, then I recommend you not to really watch this anime. Trust me, I sometimes cringed. Jimmy! A classroom full of high school students receive a strange text on their cell phone from a person known as the King. The text contains orders, sometimes simple or sometimes hard. The students must obey or there is being punished. The punishments pretty much are like very painful deaths for the students, not very fun. At first, the students brush it off as a joke, saying that it's probably someone in the classroom who were just sending the silly text, but then the orders started to get more and more extreme as time went on. Nobuaki Kanazawa is determined to put a stop to the murderous king game. Number 3, Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress. If the thought of zombies rising from the dead excites you, then you are in the right place, my dude. A mysterious virus is rapidly expanding and transforming humans into Cabane, aka corpses. Just like any zombies, they can be killed by severing the head or, in this case, piercing the heart. But this can be extremely difficult since their hearts are protected by a layer of lead, rendering most weapons useless. As a result, humans have built fortress-like stations to shelter themselves from these creatures. One day, a train gets attacked by Kibanes and crashes into the Aragane station. In a matter of seconds, the station is being overrun by Kibanes. A young man named Aikoma uses the opportunity to test his weapon he calls it the piercing gun, and he uses seats, and yeah, you, you can imagine what happens next. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this one. Number 2, Evil or Live. An addiction to the internet has been classified as a disease, Inter aka internet addiction. So we're pretty much pretty much screwed guys, they're, they're coming for us. To resolve this problem, Japan established a rehabilitation facility called the Elite Re-Education Academy. Pretty much, it's an academy with, with a bunch of like evil dudes who would like buff to hell and they beat you till you realize that you're trash and you're always gonna be trash. It's, it's, it's pretty much pretty pretty hardcore. Hibiki is a 17-year-old high school student who is sent involuntarily to this facility because he has internet addiction, obviously. Uh, pretty much to beat him to his, like, almost dead. dead. And uh, pretty much he needs to learn how to stop being a puss and see, see the world as, as it is. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this one. Let's go ahead and go to the number one, dude. Number 1. 
Inuyashiki Last Hero. Now this one is my like personal favorite one. I freaking love this. This anime is like epic as hell. 100% Dark Kami approved. Recommended to you guys. <laughs> Inuyashiki Ishiro is an elderly, friendless man with a fa with a family that shows minimum care about him. One night, he is struck by a mysterious explosion in the park, and his body is replaced by an incredible machine body, which is pretty dope. Pretty much, aliens were like, "Hey, uh, we're gonna land here. I hope there's not one there." And then, boom! It's like, "Oh, I guess we screwed up. Now we gotta give this man superpowers." Um, but his heart is still of a human. Uh, he quickly realized that instead of using this power for evil, he can instead use it to save people who are in need. Dude, you're my you're, you're my hero, my dude. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my top five. Um, let me know if you uh, let me know which one was your favorite one of all of them. Um, please don't be afraid of leave of leaving any questions you have. I appreciate it or suggesting animes. I encourage you to check more on my videos if you like this one. And I, I, I pretty much play games, react to animes, and of course, just don't don't forget to just smash that subscribe button. It's completely free. Anyways, let's wrap this video up, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, you guys.